continue on the topic and recognizing your gift. I want to ask a question to start. What do you understand by a gift? of talents. Wow. Please clap on. Thank you so much. These three answers are very correct. An expression of talent, potential, a free gift. Great. You know, so when I say recognizing your gift, I like what it says. So the only being or the only one that can give such gift to a human being is who? Is who? Is God Almighty. Oh yeah. And each and every one of us has been given gifts. We have these gifts. I've been hearing, I was sitting down here when, I, when the other lady came to talk and she was talking about leadership and one wonderful lady was sharing about how she said business. That was so wonderful. It's only God that can give you such kind of free gift that you cannot despise. It's more or less like your purpose. You cannot despise it. I want to talk about myself and she was reading something about myself when I started very young. You know, I, I had gifts. Um, you can link me as a multi-purpose person, someone that is multitasking. Let me put it that way. Multitasking, I can do so many things. At the age of six years, I was playing the recorder. You know this recorder that children play? I was playing recorder. And, and as young as I was, I was only singing everywhere. In the kitchen, I'm singing. Toilet, I'm singing. So my dad told my mom one day, there's something about this, this girl. <laughs> this her singing thing is beyond. I can sing for hours. I will stop. So my father put me into a school at that young age anyway. And then I was also exposed to my church choir. I was so involved in singing and singing and all that. And I grew from there, but I was very young. So my parents had an issue because I was a teenager. So my dad has an issue because then I would go to school. And then sometimes I go for extramural classes. And then sometimes because sometimes they don't want me to take that so serious. And I like it so much. And then sometimes I will sneak out from extramural classes and go for music. <laughs> I will sneak out to go and learn music because I really love it. So my dad was getting so pissed by the whole thing. Because he was telling me, I don't understand that. I don't think you like music, but this thing is getting too much. You're supposed to go and be learning your extramural classes. And you finish school, you finish his office to go for extramural classes. You want to go and learn how to play flute or whatever you're learning. I'm tired of this nonsense. It wasn't funny, really. Yeah. Okay, but I continued this thing because I didn't stop. I, it, there was a two-way time. My mom liked it, so she was giving me some, some uh, encouragement to do. My dad did not, so it was a little bit uh, confusing, Dyson. But somehow, the school set an exam, and they wanted us to come and uh, to call our parents to come and see what we've been learning so far. So my parents were called and said, come and see what your, your children have been learning. And then they placed a the Mozart before me. And I played with the flute. I played the Mozart from the beginning to the end. I was 14. 